The Penguin, episode 4, Tao Sinan, and this episode is all about Sophia. Kind of like last week's episode where it was all about Victor, but this episode is all about Sophia Falcone. And it's basically a very tragic story, you know. It's about a woman who thought her family were at least, you know, of Gotham standards, maybe a little bit shady on the side, but were at the end of the day, decent human beings. But then finds out that they're not so perfect. That they are part of some criminal after underground crime lord. They're like her father's like the head of the, the Gotham crime boss. You know, is like the head of the head of the of the Gotham mafia. It's and she finds out that her family only cares about saving their own skin because they will are happy to sacrifice their own flesh and blood to do that. Because it's all surrounding the reason they call her the hangman. The reason they call her the hangman is because she's accused for strangling these women and hanging them up. And the truth is, we all know, if you've seen the Batman, that it's her father. Because, you know, in the Batman, her father strangled uh, Selena Kyle, you know, Catwoman's mother, and Selena herself. And, to, and and try to do that you know, with Selena herself. So clearly that his method of killing might get definitely towards women to make it look like they and, and might get swing you know, and hung them up to make it look like they you know committed suicide. And it's you've had that sense of realization and that the face droppingness of hopelessness that she has. Because she's an archer. You know, we find out, you know, by episode one, we know she was in Arkham. And and how Arkham changed her. And basically it all comes down to there's no hope. There's no hope left. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get out of Arkham in six months. Oh, the Arkham Doctor think I'm insane. Oh crap, I'm I'm here for life. In for ten years. And her time in Arkham, like, uh, this one is in Arkham, is, you know what it is, typical Arkham, you know, the, the ones with the supervillains, you know, the ones with the Jokers and the Whittlers and the Two Faces and the Killer Quacks and the, and the Banes and the Clay Faces, all those villains, right? The thing is, these, that is supernatural horror. Walking into Arkham. This is sort of lost control. There is a, a hell of a lot of creepiness. This is a place that you know you don't want to be. If you are mentally ill, you go to bloody Acropolis to, to get help. You go to bloody Bloodhaven to, you know, you go to Bloodhaven to get get help. You don't go to Arkham because you ain't going to get help. Basically, it's the old saying, you're going to get worse, you're going to get worse and worse and worse, not get better, better, better. Because that woman, who is a cute, who just beats Sophia to the pulp, nearly to a pulp, and also kill, kills her own self with a fork, I'm like, that shows how much, you know, unlooseness this uh, how looseness this version of Arkham is. Magpie, it you know, the, her cell her like the prisoner uh the, the the inmate that she's like neighbors with, like next door neighbors with, is shows the insaneness of it. And it's just and you can tell that the people wanting Arkham is uh, also linked to the family, and whatever the reason is, like maybe they are, you know, you know, the brides or, or whatever it is, they, their mission is to keep her in there, keep Sophia out, yeah, out, out, yeah, keep Sophia in Arkham, and the sense of hopelessness she has, it's just, like she believes that everyone is out to get her. You know, she beats the shit. She kill. The Sophia kills, um, um, Magpie because she believes 
her, it has something to do with her father. Probably realistically, has nothing to do with her father. Probably some crazy, not you know, probably just a typical Arkham patron, but who's a bit a bit crazy. And also, it's kind of weird that like the peel is red, and they eat they eat the peel, and they, you know they eat the peel. And it looks like they have blood that it's like it's very clear, it's like cherry flavor and it's like bloody and all that. I'm like, oh god. And I'm like, you you sense the sense of um hopelessness that she has. So when she comes out, you know, there's hope that hey, I'm part of the family guys, you know, my you know, dad's dead and all that kind of stuff. I'm out, I'm out, guys. And it falls under it doesn't matter. You know, they still see us as a crazy person. You did all these crazy things. And it's that level of like, the hopeless is now done. And she, and realize, and, and by the end, when you realize, oh, she basically long Halloween everyone. She killed the entire, bloody, yeah, outside Johnny Reedy and the daughter, she killed the entire bloodline. She killed the entire fucking family, and you just go, "Wow, okay, this is this is weird. This is insane. Like, what? Like, it's showing she's scary. She's a scary character just because she has nothing to lose. She wants power. She wants this, and she's gonna get whatever she wants. And knowing that." You know, by the beginning of the episode, she knows that Penguin killed uh, a bird time. She's like, fuck everything. Fuck it. It's all, it's, I'm like, this episode is so well done put together. It's so well put together. I'm like, mmm. Anyway, seen the episode. If you've seen the episode, comment below. Let me know your thoughts.